historical truth that the Nagas were in existence with sovereign identity as a nation even before India's existence. Wagnau said that the major basis of the August 2015 framework agreement was there two landmark in Naga history, one of which was the so-called verdict of the plebiscite. To lend legitimacy to our client as independence nation, as declared on 14 August 1947, NNC took a critical decision to organize a Naga volunteer Earlier top NSC and IM leader V.S. Atem and leaders from the Naga Mothers Association, Global Naga Forum, Naga Students Federation, Naga People's Movement for Human Rights, Tirap Changlang Longding People's Front and Naga People's Organization Myanmar also delivered short speeches. Today is a very uh, significant day for the people of Nagaland and however the Naga peace talks is here to, come, uh, is here to uh, be concluded uh, in an inclusive manner. So what message would you like to give on this day? Uh, Naga people, we are not hiding anything from the government of India or the negotiators or the interlocutor. We are open and not only here but uh, you know, Naga students and the Naga people, they are celebrating the, uh, you know, blessed day today, everywhere. So, I think the uh, government of India should take it seriously and move forward, you know, and resume the political negotiation to hammer out any differences, if there is any. Yeah. The, the, the NSCN the is, you know, uh, breaking up into two minutes. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is also one reason that is impacting on Naga? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, since uh, there is no seriousness on the part of government of India, rather they are happy for you know dividing our people. So uh, dividing among the people, but government of India should bring them you know together and have a serious dialogue and bring out the solution. Today is a very important day for the people of Naga, especially for the Nagas. Um, however, the Naga peace talks is here to see the light of the day. Yeah. So, what message would you like to give to the people and also to the government of India on this very significant day? I think to the government of India, we have to just squarely say that they have delayed for so long. They have played their game, um, wait and watch. They tried to tire the negotiators, they tried to tire the Naga people in general for so long, 27 years, and then they make promises which they're not willing to com uh, implement, I believe. So I think Naga people have had enough, and if they cannot implement the, and honor their own commitment, even if Nagas give up the talk, they should not blame the Nagas anymore. A popular government is going to be formed very soon um, in the center. Mm -hmm. Are you hopeful that the new government, whoever comes to power, will be able to resolve? I'm pessimistic, honestly, very pessimistic. If a, a government that is democratic in nature and is willing to listen to the people, then maybe there's still hope. 